वेलकम लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द नेक्स्ट थर्ड पार्ट फॉर योर ज्योग्राफी नेट पेपर जुलाई 2018 नाउ हियर द इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस वर फ्रॉम रीजनल डेवलपमेंट सो रीजनल डेवलपमेंट वाज अ रियली इंपॉर्टेंट सेक्शन एंड सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस वर रियली रियली ट्रिकी सो मेक श्योर यू कवर दैट सेक्शन केयरफुली फॉर योर नेक्स्ट राउंड एज वेल नाउ फॉर दोज हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द नेक्स्ट एग्जामिनेशन नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इट वॉज डायरेक्ट सो लीस्ट ट्रांसपोर्ट कॉस्ट लोकेशन एंड द लोकेशनल ट्राइंगल was given by weber again there were two questions on weber two questions on cristaller so these theories again become very very important so the correct answer here would be weber the next is you have to match the features with the economy now subsistence is a little exchange of goods and only limited needs for the market however under com uh, commercial economy we talk about market competition as the force that shapes the production patterns intensive subsistence is basically related to high population and high production however ex uh, sorry extensive subsistence is related to low population density and low production because it's spread over a huge area so those are the correct matches for this question the next is vertices edges and diameter a very interesting question so vertices are already marked so how many are there you can simply count it so those are 10 edges again you can simply count it so those are again 10 so you have 10 10 only in one so even if you know what is edge and uh, vertice you can simply answer but diameter so diameter is the shortest distance between two most distant points so here two most distant points would be 5 and 10 and the shortest distance would be 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so diameter here would be 7 and let's question from network geography or transport geography a very important section then you have uh, the vital seas agricultural region and the countries that you have to link so dairy farming related to new zealand commercial grain farming in argentina nomadic herding in mongolia and commercial plantations in sri lanka mainly tea and coffee so again a very direct question that was there you have to simply match up the choices the next question Silicon Valley you have a localization of high tech firms and this is mainly due to the effect of agglomeration so agglomeration tries to bring in various firms and industries together at one place to basically minimize or bring in the maximum uh, uh, bring in uh, the maximization of the efficiency under production so you have agglomeration economy as the correct option here then next is reimers model reimers model was given in 1977 and And this was basically talking about interrelationships between metropolitan and the third world transportation systems so this is again important another question from transportation a very direct question this formula for the agricultural productivity index is a direct formula that was given by and so and is the correct answer so b becomes the right answer here the next question talks about you have to match the country with the reserve so liberia is known for its iron reserves Guyana is known for its bauxite reserve. So once you have these two, you can simply mark as one and four. So one and four is only in the choice uh, B. So you can simply say B is the correct answer. Guyana is world famous for its bauxite reserves. Togo is known for phosphate, and Niger is known for uranium deposits. So those are the correct matches in this question. The next is very important and a very interesting question from Weber's theory. Now under this you have. four conditions that were given out of these the first three conditions you can directly say the location would be closer to a market but when it comes to a fixed and gross situation it becomes a complex situation and therefore you need a locational triangle to understand it so both r1 and r2 are fixed and gross would be the correct option here so that would be the answer for this question again you can refer our class on uh, weber's theory for more detail primary uh, sector you have pearl farming secondary sector you have spinning cotton yarn again there was a spelling mistake here uh, tertiary sector you have the train services and quaternary sector talks about r&d so you have research endeavors so these are the correct matches for this question The next question talks about Mackinder's 1919 theory. Now, the Mackinder's 1904 theory was given in the book Geographical Pivot of the History, and his 1991 uh, book where he talked about pivot area as heartland was the democratic ideals and reality. So, B becomes the correct option here. The next question is organic theory of state. Again, a very direct question asked every time for your net examination. The correct answer here is red cell. 
the next question is geography of peace was written by spikeman so again from political geography another question there were again four or five questions from political geography this time so again an important section uh, the next was again from political child belongs to so child uh, child the physical shape is uh, elongated so you have vietnam and chile as the two important examples and uh, the key thing here is since there is lot of difference between the north and the south the uh, the uh, the other party who is trying to basically have a supersedence over your region would make uh, would for them it would become easier so the basically maintaining law and order and protecting a nation from uh, external threat becomes difficult if you have a longitudinal uh, or a latitudinally more expanse that could be seen so here you have long uh, elongated as the correct answer the next is whose work have been ep uh, epitomized uh, as the political geography with foreign policy so hoshofer talked about political geography with foreign policy so again a very direct question that was asked you have to match out the languages so luxembourg you have french algeria you have arabic and chile you have spanish and kazakhstan you have russian so those are the correct matches for the language the next question you have to mark out uh, the books and the author a very direct question and a question based again on rote learning some of those have been newer books so it's important so universals written by brown then you have social conquest of the earth by wilson he is he was a he is a biologist then not by gene alone by richardson a very important work and coevolution the genetics by durham so those are the correct matches for this question the next year is officially india has 22 languages that have been recognized and we have the list of those 22 languages here now the next question talks about uh, the religious commentary and the percentage that it is associated to so christians out of these minorities so all those are minority religions so among this christians is the maximum with 3.2% you have buddhist at 0.7 six at 1.7 and jains further minority at 0.4 so those are the correct matches for this question uh the uh, yes so those are the correct matches for this question the next is nordic race so nordic race are the people with long face and tall so long face and long stature would be the correct answer here uh, these are basically european uh, uh, breed that is there this question is a very very interesting and an important question we are asked which of the statement is not correct about selection indicators for conducting development process so under development we cannot club a positive and a negative indicator together we can club positives and negatives all positives and all negatives the next is indicator must emerge out of the concept of development defined in the study that's again correct and indicators of income and expenditure can be clubbed together yes so we talk about expenditure on health expenditure on uh, public health uh, education so all those can be clubbed showing a development of the nation but the first statement says either input or output indicators must be selected so for selecting an indicator there are four categories it can be input it can be output it can be activity based or it can be outcome based so from those four you could select any of the indicators so just mentioning two won't suffice so one is the incorrect choice or the option here uh, the next is you have to match the city with the planning period now obviously bilai was the steel plant and that was post independence that was developed you had kodai canal that was developed during a colonial period british period because it was a hill station and most of the hill stations uh, had been developed by british cons uh, britishers kanchipuram is an ancient town in the tamil region then you have jaisalmer as a medieval town so jaisalmer jodhpur all those are considered as medieval towns so those are the correct match for this question the next question talks about assertion reason a very interesting and a very important question here the partition of india provided a impetus for town planning activities in the country that's totally correct and it was basically modeled on the basis of uh, britain and america then you have resettlement of the displaced persons and providing them empl employment opportunity Uh, to create a kind of bigger opportunity for town planners that's again correct so you have uh, reason which is explaining the assertion so both of those are correct and reason is the correct explanation for the assertion a very important question directly from bruns so the next question here is 
फिफ्टीन एग्रो क्लाइमेटिक रीजन हैव बीन डिमार्केटेड नाउ वट हैज बीन द बेसिस सो क्लाइमेट सॉइल रेनफॉल वाटर अवेलेबिलिटी ऑल ऑफ दोज हैव बीन द बेसिस एंड वी हैव द लिस्ट ऑफ अदर बेसिस दैट वर पार्ट ऑफ इट दैट वी हैव इंक्लूडेड हियर द नेक्स्ट इज यू हैव टू मार्क आउट द प्लानिंग रीजन एंड द नंबर ऑफ मीजो रीजन सो अगेन अ काइंड ऑफ थियोरिटिकल क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन मेमोरी सो प्रकाश सॉरी प्रकाश राव एंड भट्ट गेव फिफ्टीन फिफ्टी वन मीजो रीजन देन यू हैव सेन गुप्ता हु गेव फोर्टी टू मीजो रीजन चंद्रशेखर हु टॉक्ड अबाउट थर्टी फाइव मीजो रीजन एंड वी नाथ हु टॉक्ड अबाउट फोर्टी एट मीजो रीजन सो दोज आर द करेक्ट मैचेज वी हैव द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड दैट वुड बी अवेलेबल एट डोरिस्ट सो विद दिस वी कवर द सेक्शंस ऑफ Uh, the next 25 questions we'll be covering the last 25 questions pretty soon so stay tuned have a great day ahead